on the answer to all questions. Welcome to Toku Secrets. Today we'll be talking about episode two of Common Rider Ghost. I'm your host, Rizwan Merson, and I'm joined by Anthony Davis, also known as uh, Kyoto Green in the Power Chamber. And, and I'm also joined by... And also Niven DeSalle, also known as Boken Silver in the Power Chamber. And this is our really bad attempt at being like Dan Stuker Rants in terms of introducing ourselves. Basically. If you guys on Dan Stuker Rants are listening, thanks for the idea. We're going to try and make it our own over time, but yeah. Thanks. But we're not, but we're not plagiarizing you guys in any way. It's just well, I'm citing them as my inspiration, so I hope that's good enough for them. If not, um, Dan, don't sue us. We don't have any money for you. <laughs> <laughs> Heck, you'll probably make more money than we do. Exactly. But it's zero for us. Anyway, we we will have our time. Our time will come. Yeah, give us like 400 episodes. We'll be good. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, so Common Rider Go Common Rider Ghost Episode Two. I know we're a little bit late on this, but you know what? We're getting back in the swing of things here. Like we went from three months of nothing to two weeks of nothing. I think we deserve a pat on our back for even doing this tonight. Exactly. So the. Uh, Tonight's episode was actually really good. I really enjoyed the way it was presented, the ideas in it. So, um, Anthony, you want to start off with this? Oh, I, I, well, actually, me, uh, Nathan, me and Nathan are going to try it. Like, well, actually, I'm going to explain the intro, but um, Nathan's going to be doing the overall um, synopsis of the episode total. Okay, you go and, for uh, it. Before we start here, actually, there are, uh, like, just two brief things that I think that I do want to, like, bring up, because I kind of screwed up with those in the first video. Uh, the thing that uh, Takaru inherits from his father is the thing called the Dai Tenku Temple, which is like a monastery where, like, monks gather and everything. Uh, I, we thought it was a shrine or something in the first video. And, uh, and one other thing is that uh, like uh, most Kamen Rider seasons, ghosts different forms have a name in this case like you know like that's actually been a thing like uh always calls it combos for a state you get the idea and uh in this case ghosts different forms are called damashi which in japanese translates as souls so that's actually a pretty cool name for different forms actually awesome indeed <laughs> Anyway, so the episode opens up with uh, our lead protagonist going through and trying to figure out how he's going to find the next I icon. Icons, yes. Icons. Before, you know, his 90 days are up. So, yeah, that's awkward because he doesn't know how to begin doing this. So he's in the basement talking to the old man that was with him last episode. Yeah, the old great grand sage. Yeah. And then, I think his name is. His name's not Senen, that's more of a title he's given, I think. Because yeah, Senen's uh, a level of title. Yeah, I think, I think you just call him Sage, or like, well, he calls him Gramps, but, he, but, it's, but yeah. they actually call him, like, Sage is supposed to be his name for the show. You know what, I'm calling him Gramps. Get over it. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, jeez, <laughs> Oh, what's that song? But yeah. Anthony, you want to do the beginning, I believe? Oh, yes. Um, okay, so... Both uh, Akari and Onari are basically trying, like, to figure out, like, what was the next move, like, you know, like, for the whole... Um, they should become, like, the hunter, like, ghost hunters and stuff. And Akari, you know, Akari's still now, like, oh, I, can't, I still don't, you know, it's still has an explanation for all this and blah, 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 and I'm just like... When will she learn? This is gross. She need to get over all this science stuff. But anyway, so uh, they get this uh, call from this um, this old guy. I think it was no, no. They get no, they get a, they got a call from somebody calling about the old guy, saying how like he's doing all these like crazy experiments and stuff. That's saying that he's 
trying to be like Edison and stuff. So they go and investigate see what's going on over there. And there's actually, um, actually is a, a Gama there. And it's so, in some strange way, he's, he's telling him like to create this, uh, this, this light, this light, light structure, isn't, isn't it? Like, like, like bulb structure or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. Take it away, Nathan. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out what the, I'm trying to think how, I'm trying to, Think of the words, but I can't get them out correctly. Mm, the words they escape you. Yeah. Well, okay. Ba- basically, what so the character of the day is this scientist who idolizes Thomas Edison. Like he has this entire, uh, he even has like this entire like like hero shrine dedicated to Thomas Edison as one of his idols, and he's being manipulated by one of the. Ganma, which are which is the name for the for our villains, like Ganma, these ghost-like creatures, which uh, still only Takaru can see since he's a ghost, and well, we can't see, and other people can't see ghosts. And we get this scene where Takaru, Onari, and Akari. Well, I, okay, watch me know. I don't remember if Akari was there or not, but that's not exactly. Mm, cool. Akari was there. She was there. But uh, and he's. And he talks with the guy, and and uh, we actually get this pretty cool character moment where uh, that actually like this scene at like this scene actually kind of got me to like kind of got me to like uh, start to like the Kari where uh, yeah guy, I, I know exactly what you're talking about mm-hmm. yeah where the guy says like I'll keep on doing these experiments and I'll be as good as Edison if it kills me and that pisses off to Kari because as you may have guessed he's dead so of course he doesn't. Really, that is a tr- that's a trigger. That's a that's a trigger. So, so then the Ganma appears, and Takaru transforms, and he tries to fight the Ganma, which is a like it's like an elect an electricity based Ganma, and which he can't fight because like when he tries to use his uh Musashi form, like the yeah. Towards in the metal just conduct the electricity, which results in them getting his butt kicked, of course. So, uh, so after that, uh, we we get another scene where Takaru is meeting with Akari, uh, and you know he's like really worried that he's not going to be able to find these gone these icons. Uh, basically, just uh, him now like. Like, he's legitimately worried that he's going to end up dying before he collects all these, uh, before he collects the four, uh, luminary icons, I think they're called. And, and then we get, like, a motivational speech between him and Akari, and, I mean, I'm not sure, like, what entirely goes on, but I think, like, this is kind of the beginning where Akari is starting to kind of get the No, it's not. Akari has no idea, uh, see... Akari has no interest in believing in the magic. He's still trying to destroy everything. Exactly. I guess. And then, uh, so then after that, uh, we get. Uh, <clears throat> so then after that, um, the Ganma, uh, we get another scene where the where it turns out that this Gamma was manipulating the guy to create like this big electrical generator or something like something that would uh like. Something that basically would destroy the city or something like that. And basically, yeah. It's, it's a lot it's, of power. It's not a lot of power, but if it's unstable, it, it'll end up destroying everything. And then, and then through that, and we do, and we don't really get a hint on how this works until the next episode. But this, but part of this ghost appears like from the generator, like from the monster, and. When Takaru is able to transform into ghost, he's able to transform that ghost into another icon, which gives him access to a new form called uh, the Edison Damashi, which, uh, as you may guess, uh, being based on Thomas Edison, gives him the power to manipulate electricity and just and defeat this uh, Ganma of the day. Uh, he makes amends with the with this scientist character and the episode ends with Takaru who now feels confident that he's going to be able to collect these icons deciding that he's going to turn the uh, Dai Tinku temple into a 
like paranormal investigation thing, I guess, and he's going to be a ghost hunter. Yep. And well, and that's the basic gist of the episode. And uh, also, uh, one quick note. Um, actually, what's the really cool thing is that every time that Takuru actually henshins, he's all he's he's tangible, right? You can you can see him, right? But as soon as he transforms, like he actually turn like he turns into an actual ghost. So like even though after like you know talk like you know Akari and Onara can see him, he transforms. They can't see him anymore. We we his ghost. Yep. Oh, and uh, one other thing that I forgot to mention was that uh, in the final battle uh, when he's fighting the Ganma, uh, we get introduced to this uh, pirate ship like vehicle, which I'm pretty sure was called Captain Ghost. Yeah. And and yeah. when it turns with the uh, ghost's motorcycle, it turns into this, uh, into like this lizard beast thing called the Iguana Ghost Striker, which is pretty much like one of those typical things. Like this is pretty common in uh, current common Rider seasons, where like they'll have this machine that they can combine with their motorcycle to form like not necessarily like a giant Sentai mecha thing, but kind of just, like, a fighting machine to, like, help them deal with monsters. And it's, and it's not really used, like, to death, but it's still something that's kind of common in Kamen Rider, just to kind of make it a little similar to uh, Sentai, but not too much. The only other series that has done this is actually Wizard, with uh, this Wizard ROM, was Dragon Wizard. And also uh, his motorcycle combining into that, into that, uh, that... Well, it ain't really. It was really still a dragon, but like he combines his bike with with the dragon inside yeah. the uh, inside the uh, the uh, humans' uh, hearts and stuff. Yeah, and Kamen Rider W had this thing too. It was a uh, it was this big giant tank thing. I can't even remember what it was called. Uh, but yeah, Kamen Rider W did that too. So, oh, okay. and that's the only other Rider season that I know. Uh, that did that so yeah we got so basically in this episode we uh got the plot set up for a ghost hunter edison's form was introduced and we got a uh, we got our mech for our sort of kind of ish mech I, I don't even know what the writer f- fandom calls that all those things but yeah we got that for the season i was actually surprised like coming from a not common writer background like this is my first real writer um I didn't expect to see a mech. I thought all the battling would take place in not mech things. I mean, I know it's not like a full mech, but like a vehicle kind of thing. Mm-hmm. That was interesting to me. Um, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Anthony. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And like, like uh, you were saying before, Nathan, I do like how whenever like somebody brings up the fact that like oh I want to give my life up to do this or I would rather die than do this like that's that's gonna be Takaru's trigger word is that like you know people take death typically take you know death for granted and that he feels that like you know you shouldn't take death for granted because you know like I'm dead you should not be complaining about wanting to die and wanting, like you can kill yourself because yeah that, that I'm experiencing it and I don't like it you know I'm trying to get my life back so we need to shut up. <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad because that really shows that they're taking this whole death thing seriously. Because if they wanted to be all lighthearted about this thing, I mean, it would, I mean, it would kind of be like the nostalgia critics review of Ghost Dad. Like, hey, come here, little closer. Now, do you not realize something? He's dead. So, but no, they're taking it very seriously, and I really like that. So, yeah. No, I like the uh, the way everything is like falling together. I haven't seen episode three, and I know you guys have, but without saying too much, is that a trend we're going to see now where we have, like, famous historical figures coming out and, uh, becoming icons? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, there is uh, one thing that I do want to mention about this episode. Uh, what, this actually surprised me. Uh, while I do think that it's good, um... One thing, um, it's actually like a single part episode, and uh, for those of you guys that aren't familiar with Common Rider, uh, it's been kind of a thing, I mean, and I'm not sure like when this whole trend started, like somebody told me that it started way back in like 2007 or 2008 when Common Rider Dino came out, but uh, mm-hmm. 
since then, it's always been like a part of Common Rider where like maybe the first episode will be like a standalone, but then most of the episodes after that will all be two parters. Like the first episode sets up like the first part will set up like this character of the day, the monster of the day, the plan, then then usually some twist will come right out of nowhere at the end, and then part two comes out, and we get more development for that victim of the day, and then the main common writer defeats the monster, and, you know, of course, like, some other stuff might happen, like, you know, a new writer might appear, or something, et cetera, but, uh, but yeah, so I was really surprised how this series isn't, like, and, again, like, without giving too much away for episode three, like, so far this series is not, uh, really holding up, like, holding up on that kind of formula, like, it's having all the episodes be, uh, single episodes, which I'm not saying is technically a bad thing, it's just kind of surprising. Yeah, yeah we're just so used to, like, the two parts and stuff, especially, like, when I was watching, um, Wiz- Wiz- Wizard and O's, yeah, it was more prominent, it was, yeah, it was very prominent in O's, too. Yeah, yeah, it's been a thing with, like, pretty much every Neo Heisaira season, except, uh, Gaim, which didn't use that at all. And, yeah, uh, it it was actually more episodic. It would, I mean, sure, it was standalone, but at the same time, it would lead to the next part. So basically, mm-hmm. you're watching like a sequence of episodes, like all tied together, like in one one go. It's not like, oh, you watch this part and then it goes to like part two. It's all like tied together, so you don't feel like you're watching like a single a single episode. Like it's all revolving around the same story. Yeah, so I like that. I just uh, it really makes me curious about like how they're going to handle the rest of the series. Like, are they going to keep them all standalone or keep it like a bit more serialized, like how Gaim did it, or would they eventually make it a two part run? I'll be good with either one, honestly. Yeah. But yeah, um, Ghost is awesome. It really is. It's to me. It's a really good introductory common writer. I think. I don't know. Like, if there's a better introductory kind of common writer, like how there's a introductory thing in uh, Sentai for Kaiser that kind of introduces people I've never seen Sentai to the fandom in a really easy way, where you can learn about many different sen- uh, Sentai in the past. I know we're not learning about any other common writers so far, but I really do like the way we're get, we're being presented Ghost. Because I did watch Drive, and Drive bored me. I'm sorry. So I'm not gonna lie to you though. It it will bore you in the beginning because I was bored watching that thing. Yeah. After you like you after like, it continues the story, you just are just like 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 where was this in the beginning? You know. Mm-hmm. Like like I feel that like both Gaim and Drive both have like so starts, but like after like it picks up, it gets so much better. Yeah, but this this series does this series uh, is already showing. Yeah, yeah like it, it does something different. It just it, it it the first episode is already just like like in your face. Like the wow, character like, died in episode one. One. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know if I've ever seen like I've seen things like this before. Obviously, like another anime and stuff, but I wasn't aware of this being a really common thing in uh, anything else like Tokusatsu related. Oh yeah, like at least. Maybe like one or two writer, like writers in different um, series, like they'll die or they'll assume they're dead, but they're actually gonna be alive in some strange way. Yeah, so far that's happened in a three series. It happened in a Kuga, Forze, and Drive. So yeah, death is kind of common in common writer. Yeah, it's I mean, like, sort of even... it's sort of happening, guy, but. That I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but okay. this sort of happened in Gaim, but it really wasn't like that serious, you know. Like it was just, it was assumed he died, but actually, like he survived it. Mm-hmm. You know, this kind of reminds me of, in a way, like his entire dying in episode one thing. You Hakusa from like. Yes, I was actually about because to say you, thing. Yusuke died in episode one, and in episode one he meets Botan, who offers him a chance to become a spirit detective to make himself worthy to be revived by Koenma. Exactly. So, it's kind of cool, except, you know, Ghost has a bit of a time limit on his thing, whereas Yusuke really didn't. 
Yeah, actually, um, I don't think Yusuke did. I could be wrong on that. It's he actually years. did have a time limit on like how he can save, how he actually could save his his life, but it was only like like a day thing. It was like you know something like he had to do to get himself to to revive himself again. I think he had to, he had to like get kissed by someone that he truly he truly loved and care about. Yeah. So, and it was, yeah. Like, it was like it was like until like midnight or something like that. Well, and it was his girlfriend Keiko, which you know he his love interest. So thank God it wasn't Kuwabara. Oh <laughs> God, God, it was <laughs> Come here, you're messy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh I'm God. done here. I'm done. I have nothing else to say. I'm lucky. <laughs> I have nothing else to say here. I'm done. <laughs> um, yeah. That kind of... I'm done for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good night. <laughs> um, if you've gotten this far into the review, we're sorry that you had to deal with Anthony's thing there i like to voice act so yeah. <laughs> clearly yep um but yeah i'm excited for episode three i don't know what's gonna happen i don't want y'all to tell me right now i'm gonna watch it and then, then we'll talk but yeah final thoughts the basic gist of this video is that if you haven't gotten on the common writer ghost get on it please get on it get on it <laughs> if you like anything ghost related or like paranormal, like paranormal, like you will love this series. If you like Yu Yu Hakusho, you like this TV show, I think. You, you will, will, because there are there are some similarities in the show. There's a lot of similarities, but not like quite like Ghost is doing it. But that's a good thing. It yeah. Interesting. So, yeah. You said what's common to her Ghost? Because it's awesome. Yep. Anyway, we are Toku Secrets. I am Rizwan, your host, and like, subscribe, follow, share, what else can y'all do on social media nowadays? Can y'all like, oh, there's a thumbs up thing, right? Like a upvote? Yeah, do all that stuff. Do all the above and whatever else is out there now because I don't keep up with social media. <laughs> um, again, I'm working on getting some iTunes, waiting on some uh, cover art to be materialized and we'll be good to go. I think you guys will like the direction we took to cover art for uh, this podcast. So stay tuned and keep on listening and keep on listening and keep on listening. Hey, you. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. You can also check out Enemy Secrets on Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. Do you want more than that? I know you do. Then go to our website where you can see daily updates and articles and exclusive interviews.